You are listening to the Cattle Call Podcast. This is the place where computer-aided design and drafting meets humor and practicality, with a touch of business acumen thrown in for fun. Jim and Rocco, the owners of Zentech Consultants, the premier U.S. technology consulting firm for architecture, engineering, construction, and manufacturing, discuss the fascinating world of CAD with some humor and some honesty. The Cattle Call Podcast. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Cattle Call Podcast with Jim and Rocco from Zen Tech Consultants. I am Jim, your intellectual and effusive host. And with me, as always, is my partner. It's Rocco. It's Rocco. See, just, just plain Rocco. He gives me nothing to work with. And that's why I make him suffer through the engineering joke of the week. Okay, Rocco, you ready for this one? I'm ready. All right. What do you call an engineer who drones on and on about pointless technical issues? Oh, boy. (laughs) What? An engineer. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Now that we lost our audience. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Now we've ticked off everybody. (laughs) Oh, but that's a funny one. I actually like that one. (laughs) Anybody there? Anybody Anybody there? there? Hello? Hello? (laughs) Speaking into space. (laughs) <laughs> oh, too much. All right. So let's get into today's topic. So look, folks, it's it's kind of a funny thing um, <laughs> about the work that I do here at Zentech, right? I wind up talking to so many people so often, and I do so many demos and videos and presentations uh, that I find it hard to remember whom I've spoken to about what. Um, and now look, I, it's very likely that part of that issue isn't really my workload, but just my old and feeble brain. Uh, but I'm going to kind of stick with Rocco working me too hard because that makes me feel a little better about myself. Um, so, you know, and the reason I bring that up is that there is a hugely important topic that we have been dealing with a lot here at Zentech over the last two years or so. Um, and I would have put good money that I've discussed it multiple times on the podcast But in prepping for the show, I was looking back over our topics list of what we've done, and I saw that we have never discussed this. Um, And the topic is what we refer to as digital dashboarding. Um, And it may be one of the most important and useful features that we've ever hit on with this podcast. Um, Look, I don't care who you are or what you do or how big or how small your company is. This is a process that you're going to want to look into. so let me start by you know, here, but I'm going to define what a digital dashboard is, right? So think of a company intranet, right? Like from the early 2000s, right? Um, designed to kind of eliminate all the searching for files and removing all the difficulties and setup and edits and then making it way more powerful so it integrates with every program and file and tool that you work with, right? Above and beyond the, the, the limited intranet stuff, that's what a digital dashboard is. Is and I'm I'm going to get into more detail now. I know it was kind of a high level, uh, ex, you know, expansive thing. Um, but but that level of workflow improvement is what I want to talk about today. Um, so, so Rocco, in in terms of you know our client base, right, for digital dashboards, who has been our biggest market segment? You know, who are looking seriously into the dashboarding? Yeah, I'd say you know medium. Up to large firms and 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 even into um, municipalities, um, even some school districts are, uh, you know, are the prime candidates. It could could this kind of stuff work for very small companies um, as well? Sure, you know, it definitely can. Um, but I, I think where you see the the greater value is is where you have a larger organization and. And, and, and you're sharing and trying to navigate tons of files and constantly looking for information. That makes sense. So, all right, so anyway, so let, let's kind of get into the meat and potatoes here, right? So a digital dashboard, it's, it's basically a PDF-based structure of interconnected buttons, images, hyperlinks, models, plans, et cetera, whatever you want, that are designed to help people, right? Whether it's your internal, internal staff or if it's your external clients or the public at large, the, this PDF connection structure, it it helps them get directly to the information they need through an intuitive graphic interface that requires no training. (laughs) In other words, if someone wants to get, say, the inventory for a storage room in a particular building, 
they can just, you know, click on that building, then click on that room, then click on a button that links to the inventory's Excel worksheet, right? They don't need to know, oh, what server is that on, right? What folder is it in? What's the file name? What revision should I be searching for? They can ignore all of that and you let the digital dashboard take them right to the information that they need with you know no thoughts or concern about you know where that data lives i um you know and because these dashboards are cross linked you never have to worry about organizing you know files into you know new locations or changing the current workflows that people already know just so you can point to the you know correct folder or file or cloud location or website where the information exists today, right? You can just point to it and don't worry about it, right? You don't have to train everybody on that. Um, so, you know, Rocco, this is a this is kind of a pretty radical concept for most people uh, because we've all over decades now have been conditioned into this need for, you know, files and folders and naming conventions built into like these very rigid storage processes, right? So we don't lose things um, or, or you know, open the wrong things. Um, What's kind of been the response that you see when we first start showing people, right, the digital dashboard concept? Yeah, I mean, people are, are hugely impressed. And if you think about, you know, the, the dispersed uh, work environments that we're working in now, right, hybrid, who's in the office, who's not, who's, who's on Tuesdays, who's in on Fridays, and you know, the the concept of, of storing data, it, it just, it's become a lot more complicated. Um, and, and this simplifies the, the, you know, that whole process. I mean, it, it, uh, it, it just makes it a lot easier. Um, so when people see it and their, their imaginations go, go wild in terms of what you can do <laughs> and across industries, like we're saying. Yeah, and imagination is a big part of this, right? We're going to talk about that probably a little bit more in the second half. But, um, you know, look, the, the reality is, I think I may have some, mentioned this at some point on, on the podcast before, but studies show that people spend at least 30 to 40% of every single workday just searching for files and data, right? That's a huge amount of your workday, every day, every week. Um, it, you know, it, I'm looking for your engineering jokes here as we're as we're talking. Where where is that file? <laughs> I hide it so that you don't know what joke I'm going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it more fun when you groan. So, <laughs> uh, but look, you know, it, you know, we're talking about these digital dashboards, right? And 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 if this concept, if all it does is is reduce the amount of time your people spend looking for information by half. That is a massive productivity and, and savings increase that you guys get to experience every year, year over year, forever. Um, now, look, the one thing I want to stress here all right, is that we are not talking about an intranet. Right? Even though I, I know I used that term earlier to kind of help you guys visualize what I mean because it's something I know most people have heard of and understand. Um, what we're really talking about here is creating simple PDF files, right? That we all know how to use. And more importantly, everybody knows how to edit these on the fly, right? To, to make changes and update revisions and so on. We can make changes directly inside the PDFs very, very easily. Um, and I think, you know, one of the reasons that, you know, intranets as the big thing failed so miserably, right? In the last decade, uh, it's because they were HTML based, right? And you needed IT and security controls, and you need especially trained people and processes to make updates to them and request changes. You know, intranets had, I guess we call it like a top-down organizational approach, right? Where everything had to be handled at the top level and then distributed down. Um, and, and these digital dashboards, they're much more democratic, right? And that you can let almost anybody that you want to edit and update them, right? All they need is a, is a, a basic PDF editor like Bluebeam Review, um, and you just give them rights to the folder where the PDFs are stored, right? Anybody can make the changes that need to be done in real time. And you know, I think the best part here is that you can organize it and structure it, and you can have different dashboards that still interconnect, right? But main dashboards for every group or every department in your company. Right? And those dashboards can point to the existing files and processes and data that they are working with 
today in exactly the way they're familiar with, right? There's no need to go out and buy, you know, all you know, more expensive software and, you know, change your work processes and rearrange your, your file structures and train people, right? You don't have to do any of that, right? You can let your people do what they already know how to do the way they know how to do it, right? And just help them get to that work faster and easier. Right? That's what we're talking about here. I tell you what, so let, let's take a break to hear from today's sponsor. Uh, but when we get back, I want to get into some of the more powerful features of digital dashboards that really go kind of far beyond what we've been talking about so far, which is just basic file access. All right, so stand by, folks. We'll be back in just a minute with more of the Cattle Call Podcast. All right, Rocco. So we are sponsoring ourselves yet again today. What is it we want to talk about? We're going to talk about me today, Jim. No, no one wants to talk about you. Not even you. <laughs> oh, fine. Let's talk about Zentech Tech Blocks. Awesome. I like Zentech Tech Blocks. Zentech Tech Blocks are prepaid support hours that let you call on Zentech's experienced technical staff to address all your support questions, problems, help you with workflows and standards, really anything you need on the technology side. We're here to provide the support you need so that your most talented people aren't being dragged into helping everybody else in your company instead of working on the billable jobs that you need them focused on. All right, so Zentech Tech Blocks are available in uh, multiple sizes. We sell them in five hour, 10 hour, 20 hour, and 40 hour prepaid support blocks. And if you're interested and you need that sort of help, Rocco, how do they reach out to us? Yeah, hit up our website, zentechconsultants.net. Give us a ring, 866-824-4459. Or even drop us an email, sales at zentechconsultants.net. All right, Zentech tech, lock, tech Blocks, the vital support that your people need exactly at the moment that they need it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Cattle Call Podcast. We're talking about digital dashboards today, all right? You know, what they are, the power that they provide, and why we think everybody listening should be working towards implementing them in their own company. Um, and, and the most important aspect of building digital dashboards is that I can link from anything to anything from here. <laughs> right? It's that it really is that simple. Right? And, and I know that sounds kind of vague, but like I was saying in the first effort, I, I need you, you guys listening to use your imagination for a minute, right? Go on a little imagination trip with me. Um, imagine clicking on a map of your town. Right, and then clicking on your specific building or facility, right, and then you click on a symbol for each of the cameras, the security cameras that you have in that facility, and you can see live feeds from those video cameras right on your screen. That's one thing you can do, right? Uh, or or you know, imagine going to your warehouse floor, right, on screen, right, and you click on a, a piece of equipment and it has links to its service history or to a website where you can order replacement parts for it or put in a work order or a ticket, whatever. Right? Or imagine you know, open up a construction plan, right? and then you're clicking on tags on the plans that are gonna take you right to you know, specific RFIs right? or punch items in your construction management system right? or directly to you know, the BIM detail for a particular structural component. right? And, and, and now imagine if every single item that I just described could be linked to an unlimited number of other related files, right? Websites, physical components, doesn't matter, right? We're talking about a fully developed system of interconnection, right? That can be easily accessed, used, and updated by everybody in your firm. And here's the important part without paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for you know facilities management software and training and support and having to you know rework everything you do to fit into that new system um, you know the, these PDF based digital dashboards are all about maintaining your current best practices right and and adapting technology to the way that you work as a company and not the other way around, which we see way too often. Um, so Rocco, how do clients respond to the idea of, of kind of doing this with simple PDF files, right? And not having to purchase new software or, or make workflow changes then that need you know all kinds of training? Uh, I mean, that's that's a big um, you know thing that we push here at Zentech is don't don't 
invest in new technology. Look at what you have already and what, what we can help you do with it, right? Um, so that's that's attractive <laughs> to start out with. Who, you know, nobody wants to spend more money than they than they really need to. Um, and and if it's if it's a matter of you know tweaking your existing workflows, uh, you know, without saying, hey, you got to learn this entirely new platform, new new structure, then it's certainly attractive. Yeah, and and I know, I'm sure it sounds weird to people. Right? We're technology consultants to hear us say, look, don't don't buy new technology. Don't get us wrong, right? We love new technology when it's beneficial, when there are things in there that are an absolute must. But you know, the the problem that you see with all too many software companies is that they're just putting out newer, completely different workflows. And it's like, oh, this will solve this major problem. Yeah, but I've got to rework my entire process, right? And that's going to cost me 10 times as much as the software. Um, sometimes staying with what you have that works well and just making it more efficient is the right answer. Um, so you know, I, just, I just want to throw out kind of a few more examples, right, of... of you know, where we've done a lot of work with our PDF-based digital dashboards so that you know, the folks listening can hopefully um, you start to get some ideas on how you can structure these and use them for yourselves or for your clients. Um, you know, one area that we have done a lot of this work is for uh, larger government agencies, right, who are handling uh, space planning and leasing, right? We, we've used Bluebeam Review to do a couple of things, right? We, number one, we develop tool sets for them for like, you know, predefined clients and areas and, and divisions. Um, and we, we integrated that with these digital dashboards, right? That tie together to regional site maps, right? And connects those to building plans and then the plans to the rooms and the areas, right? Where they can use the Bluebeam tool sets to kind of outline, you know, the lease space, right? So, oh, this is for the, the county library. They're leasing this space in this building. They just outline the rooms that they're in and it will instantly calculate, right? Which agencies or lessees or how much, how much common space they're using, um, you know, what their, their monthly fees are gonna be. Um, you know, we've done a bunch of work for folks in both the, the public schools and, and kind of the private collegiate space, helping them establish uh, security dashboards, right? For violence response and active shooter scenarios, right? And other security concerns. Um, you know, in, in the construction and design space, we have helped a lot of companies develop predefined dashboards that point users to internal construction documents, contracts, uh, exterior consultants, file locations, right? If they're out on a different server or a different cloud-based system. Um, and we've even, we can even tie in direct connections to, you know, your ERP systems, right? You know, construction management tools like Procore or, or Autodesk Construction Cloud that are linked to their projects, not just to the overall program, but to very specific sub items inside those, those systems. Um, we've done a, a number of PDF dashboard systems for building product manufacturers, right? So that they can cross connect their estimating and ordering and tracking and fabrication processes into one centralized graphic location where everybody can get to the data. Um, whatever type of work you do, right? Whatever you do listening, right? I want you to consider how a graphic interface with direct links to data of any kind I don't care what you have. I can link to it. Um, how that can benefit your daily work processes. Um, so yeah, Rocco, you know, with all these clients, right? Have we had to implement any type of software or upgrades beyond like basic Bluebeam, right? Which, which you know, most of them already had anyway. Mm, no, I don't think so. Well, that was a simple answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I throw out questions like that. I expect you to come up. To be fair, it was a kind of a yes or no question. I guess that one's on me. <laughs> Ask me an open-ended question. Open-ended question. How handsome is Jim? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I was waiting for that answer. I was like, dude, if you just don't say no, I'm going to have to reach through the microphone and smack you. <laughs> the only answer there was no. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness all right all right but yeah no to be honest i i you know i i do most of this you know set up with clients on the tech end and i've never had to 
get any new system. You're just taking what you already have and just cross connecting all the various, you know, Excel to your construction management, to your CRM, to your email database, to your accounting, to your PDFs, to your document. You know, it's, it's, it's such a simple thing, right? It's just working out how you guys work today and just simplifying the interface. Um, so, you know, one, one last thing I really do want to hit uh, on with these digital dashboards is right how it's how beautifully they can integrate into the world of digital twins. Um, you know, so so here at Zentech, we're Matterport scanning and 3D modeling partners. So we do a lot of work with you know uh, scanning buildings and developing BIM models for existing facilities. Um, and one of the things that we do regularly is use the actual digital twin after it's been created in the Matterport space to create bi-directional connections between our PDF dashboards and that digital twin, right? So, so basically what I mean is I can go in, I can click on the PDF, right in the PDF and the plan to open up the, the Matterport 3D twin, right? The model. And then inside the twin, I can create multiple links on anything right? That the scanner took 3D photos of, right? I can link a, you know, a camera to a live feed or, or a card reader on a door to an access log uh, or a piece of furniture to the manufacturer's website, um, you know, a door to their, to a scheduling app. So you can reserve that room for an event, right? Or, you know, maybe you're a, you know, a restaurant, right? I can click, click on your table, right? And people can see what are the daily specials or how to reserve a table. It's, it's, anything, right? I can even add multiple links from the digital twin directly back to the digital dashboard so that I can connect people to the files, folders, forms, and data of any kind, right from the, you know, what they're looking at in that real world 3D digital twin inside that facility. They can just click right back. So it's, it's a bi-directional setup. Um, and, and here's what I think, right? This type of structure where we're getting into connecting you know, the digital world and the real world. I think this is the promise of the old intranet and you know, what we heard about, you know, the internet of things and, you know, virtual reality and augmented reality and, oh, the grand digital landscape, right? All of those wonderful buzzwords that they pumped at us for the last 20 years that never did anything. They didn't come true or, or, you know, or if they did, you had to spend millions <laughs> if you wanted to even get started with those. Um, but we're talking about this intelligent integrated system that can be done for minimal software and time investment, you know, with, with, with no retraining of your staff needed, no reworking of your workflow processes. Generally, all you need is, is someone who's familiar with the process like Zentech to come in and help you get it set up. And that's all it takes. Um, so Rock, let's, let's throw in a little pitch here, right? If, if you, if people listening want to start looking into digital dashboards, right? Where can they find more information and how do they contact us if they want to get our help? Yeah, I, I mean, of course you can hit our website at zentechconsultants.net, um, you know, or, or email sales at zentechconsultants.net. Um, but I, I, you know, I think it's it's about having a conversation, right? Um, you know, reach out to us. Let's, let's help you imagine what you can do. Um, you know, share screens. It's, I mean, Jim did a great job of explaining all this uh, through audio, but uh, it obviously has a uh, much level, higher level of value by seeing what you can do. Um, so give us a call as well, 866-824-4459. There you go. And we can set up a demo. And there's also some videos and some presentation stuff under our government sections uh, in particular on our website that you guys can look at. We get into the digital dashboarding concepts there too. All right, so folks, I'm going to wrap it up today by saying this, right? If there is a slow, tedious, frustrating work process that you're dealing with every day, chances are a digital dashboard can help simplify that process. And look, I can't guarantee it's it's going to make it go away 100%, but a digital dashboard is definitely going to help you save a ton of time on all those tedious tasks. Right? And I think that that concept alone makes this a worthwhile topic for the show. And it is, again, something that everybody out there listening should or must be looking into. And with that, we're going to get out of here and we'll catch you next time on the Cattle Call Podcast. All right, everybody. Today's Cattle Call was brought to you courtesy of Zentech Consultants. That's Rocco and I. Uh, Zentech Consultants works with design and manufacturing firms to help our clients purchase and implement the software 
that they need in these complex industries. Uh, we provide a single point of contact for clients to buy, develop, and learn the most vital software systems for your specific needs. Uh, Zentech strives to be your trusted technology partner from your initial needs all the way through long-term support and training for your entire staff. So Rocco, why don't you tell them how to reach out to Zentech? All right, yeah, you can reach out to us through zentechconsultants.net. You can email us at sales at zentechconsultants.net. Or you could even call us, 866-824-4459. Excellent. We look forward to hearing from you all.